Hi, I'm John Furrier with Silicon Angle The Cube. We're on the ground in San Francisco at the Scale Leader office with a beautiful background here, but really the big background and backdrop is the HP announcement with Scale T, uh, uh, Irwan uh, Minnar, COO, uh, Scale T. Uh, Welcome to the Cube conversation. Kind of like an, an after discussion of the announcement. We just covered it. Um, are you excited about this? Oh, sure I am. I mean, come on. <laughs> First of all, thanks for joining us. Beautiful day in San Francisco. No, yeah, absolutely. You know, we've been working on this for four years. We are the kind of low ego guys who want to do great stuff for customers. And now we can come out. We have references. This thing has been rock and rolling, and we're making it even better and better package. So yeah. So one great. of the things we talked about in, in the uh, covering the announcement is that it's already existing product out yeah. there. You've had a relationship with HP. This formalizes kind of the, the partnership. Um, does this mean that you guys are going to have more access to their accounts? How has been the go to market and the sales motion been with HP? Well, you know, I think at the end of the day, HP servers have a great leadership on the marketplace. This is potentially a huge upside for them. I and mean, we believe that 40% of their addressable market with those boxes uh, is, is the need we are serving here today. So we're fulfilling a great gap. We're giving some great stuff for those servers, sales guys to talk about. And from a scality standpoint, benefiting from the badge and, uh, and the brand of HP is absolutely fantastic because they, they definitely have the trust of their customers. And you guys had some good success on some joint uh, opportunities yeah. with HP. Yeah, we had we had many. I mean, the one we, we talk about publicly today are Dailymotion, the competitor of uh, YouTube in Europe, who left conventional storage to embark on this new way of doing storage. And it's a 10 petabyte project, a pretty nice size. Another one is a broadcast uh, company in Europe, RTL. But all together, it's already 50 petabytes. I mean, it's like a really tangible install base. You know, we love talking on theCUBE about with the young companies, especially ones that are successful. But this we talk about this modern infrastructure, app developers, more mobile infrastructure, security, all these are important things, but one thing that's interesting is with the hybrid cloud and the data center is this unification where it's not just about the servers or the storage, it's really about this integrated environment where developers just want DevOps, they want to have programmable infrastructure. How do you guys fit into that vision? So our job is to, is to make that happen in the storage space, which is already a lot of investment and, and a lot of pain sometimes, so let's, let's try to make a good job there. And then we insert ourselves very gracefully in frameworks like OpenStack. So you you, if you deploy your entire cloud and your infrastructure in an OpenStack framework, we can insert ourselves within that, connect, look even like a, like a swift storage, uh, to speak in OpenStack terms. Uh, and so insert ourselves, bring all our benefits uh, while uh, complying to, uh, to the way you're building the infra. What's the biggest takeaway that you've learned to, in with your customers, now with HP? Certainly you've had some good, good traction with HP, now formal relationships should expand things. But out in the customer environment, what are you hearing from architects, CIOs? What are their critical pain points? And what have you guys learned in that environment? What's your solution address? So obviously you have economics, right? I mean, the, the, the cloud economics are, are defining the price point, And it's impossible to do that with a legacy architecture. But I think equally interesting, equally important, is the opportunity to collapse the traditional silos. There are so many so storage systems that have been built for one or two applications, totally dedicated. Here we can harmonize, unify all this, and basically abstract the hardware issues, which always happen. I mean, your disk drives are failing, so it's about abstracting that and making it available to a large variety of use cases. And it's critical because today, enterprises have a ton of data. They don't know what they want to do with it tomorrow. And having to be um, within the rigid framework of a storage system that can serve only one workload is very painful. So that conversation was an evangelization a year ago. Today, every large enterprise has a project team of people who are trying to think the new way and see how that software-defined storage on industry standard servers is going to change their life. So HP is back on the track. A Meg Whitman's on our turnaround plan. They're starting to make some acquisitions. You guys looking like an acquisition target? What, uh, I, care now, <laughs> what I care now is to serve customers together. <laughs> I guess it it's probably helps whatever scenario <laughs> forward. When you focus on customer, your future is usually bright. Well, certainly great validation with HP, certainly the track record. Do um, you guys have any, any other news you want to share? Any observations that you've learned with customers? Well, I think the news is, uh, is that this, this may sound like a new topic to many people. We're already at the fifth version of the product. Um, this is something that has been bulletproof on the ground. And so I think if, if anything, I want to encourage people to try it, to put their hand on it, and to touch with their workloads, with the reality of their, of their DevOps people, what, what benefits we can truly bring. This is not PowerPoint anymore. This is real stuff. And I think it's a big part of the announcement today. We are formalizing four years of field experience together. You know, the track record is really kind of impressive, and it's also important 
important, but there's also competition. How would you compare the competition out there? A lot of noise in software defined, fill in the blank, storage, whatever. Right. Why not? Well, I think, I think first of all, you won't find so many people who can spread across so many workloads. And, it's, and why is that? Because the first one we took care of four years ago was really difficult from a storage standpoint. Bandwidth requirement, uh, so speed, latency requirements, big, small files, many files. And, and, and that particular workload, which was storage for messaging system, for web mail systems, basically drove a big versatility in the product. The product can do very different things. It can do archives, it can do video distribution. Uh, uh, so that's one huge differentiator. The second thing is that you know it's very easy to develop an appliance and relabel yourself as software defined. My definition of it is we have no certification program. Our software meets the brand new server of HP on the ground without testing in the lab. It's going to work because it's x86 and Linux, and that's all I care about. Which implies, by the way, that uh, when customers want to mix and match many generations of hardware, with us it's very easy as opposed to uh, appliance models. Uh, so these are two probably really big differentiators. The, uh, you, know, you mentioned uh, scalability, flexibility, performance, and economics. Those are awesome uh, uh, highlights. You're checking all the boxes. Is there one that you're most proud of with the company? Well, I think the, the, this ability, this flexibility of accommodating so many workloads is terrific. The, the engine at the heart of the software is an object store. But guess what? There are not so many applications on the planet who yet speak object. We added an embedded scale-out file system, and now we can serve about any application in the enterprise, because even the legacy application can benefit from the new architecture and its flexibility, its economics, its performance. So I think, I think that's the key. And what does that mean to the CIOs and the architects and the storage guys out there in the enterprise? What does it, that mean to it, them? It means that they don't need to find a science project to test this thing. They can bring those benefits to their current environment, to their current workload, and start reducing their storage cost and increase their flexibility in right now. In production? Absolutely. Okay, we're here getting all the ground after interviews here in San Francisco Scale. I'm John Furrier. Uh, we are here checking out the announcement, getting, getting the data. Thanks so much for Thank your you, time. Uh, thanks for watching theCUBE.